the number one reason shipping companies deny claims is due to insufficient packaging. These companies will do whatever they can to get out of paying for damage claims, and they will always blame it on you because you didn't package these items correctly. I uh, operate my own business, and I ship dozens of packages each week using uh, the post office, UPS, FedEx, even DH DHL. So I have uh, a lot of experience with not just shipping, but also packaging and, unfortunately, uh, trying to deal with claims. So this video here is to show you how I package my valuables for shipping. So let's get to it. First of all, the end goal is you want at least two inches all the way around your item. Two inches of padding, I should say, all around your, your item on all sides, at least two inches. If you can do more, hey, that's even better. So here's what I do. So first of all, this is just a standard Nintendo uh, NES game. And I use this large diameter bubble wrap here. You may not have access to this. Uh, you just might have this the really tiny stuff. That works fine as well. You're just going to be using a lot more layers of it. So what I do is I'm going to wrap my item first a few times in this bubble wrap. And I'm going to leave these ends here. I'm not going to trim those. And I'm also not going to tape this shut. I think that's important uh, because when the recipient gets the package, the last thing you want them is to break out a box cutter and cut into the actual item through the bubble wrap by accident. So to prevent that, I don't tape. And if you're sending in raw games to get graded, the uh, grading companies do also recommend that you do not uh, tape, tape the bubble wrap. So step two is I have this cardboard box here. Now this cardboard box is uh, very large, um, but again, it's gonna give us sufficient room around the product for padding. And so first I'm starting with a, a layer of peanuts, the standard uh, packing peanuts. Then I am going to lay the game in the box just like that now i have this box uh, this box is actually pretty uh, pretty appropriately sized if you can see i left remember i said i was going to leave these these floppy ends that's going to add padding here on the ends so that's good to keep it away from the sides and then where did i put it i have more peanuts to dump on top and that is actually perfect so now more peanuts on top so it's going to the very top I'm not going to pack this in as tight as I can um, just loose loosely on top and then I'm going to outside so if you remember how big that slab was to begin with and then i added the um the bubble wrap around it that's probably only what three inches in there and then i have extra room on the top extra room on the bottom extra room on the sides and then also extra room on the the size of the on on the length as well so that's how i package things um i don't have damage claims when i do them do it this way there have been times where i've tried to use too small of a box to try and get it to fit real nice and snug in there and man these guys don't care about your packages so the few times i've done that just the weight of them stacking on top of each other in the back of a semi truck um it just crushes your your items and then they blame you because you didn't have sufficient packing material around and encompassing your item kind of like uh for dampening um but it's 
you know, it's important to understand that these package handlers, they don't care about what's inside. They're going to absolutely drop your package, kick it, throw it in the air. At the end of the day, they're not paying for the damage. And um, again, these big wig companies also do whatever they can to get out of paying for uh, damage claims. All right, well, that's about it. It's pretty straightforward and simple, but if you do have any questions, put them down in the comments below. Oh, by the way, I get this large diameter, uh, diameter uh, a bubble wrap through a, an actual um, an actual uh, shipping uh, material company I use, again, because I have a business and I ship a lot of stuff, so I'm always buying boxes and all kinds of stuff. If you, uh, I, I don't know if you're gonna be able to find any of that stuff where you are. Sometimes, like the UPS store will have this stuff. Um, I believe that's exactly what they use when you drop off things and you pay them to package. So I don't know if they'll sell you a few sheets of this. Um, the, the most common type is going to be the small, tiny diameter uh, bubble wrap. But again, you can still use that. You're just going to be wrapping your, your item a lot more times. All right, that's all I got for you today.